you must have heard people saying that cat want is dependent on class 10 syllabus but can a class 10 student crack cat obviously no it is not mathematics it is quantitative aptitude i have divided the entire cat 25 qa strategy in nine different points if you follow those points regularly and religiously you will be able to crack cat qa with flying colors point 1 speed calculations speed calculations is a combination of various insightful techniques like vedic mathematics trachtenberg system of mathematics and a lot of generalized observations second you got to refer to the most fundamental books of ncert from class 8 to class 10th but that would be too daunting too tiring isn't it that is why we have created a non engineers module in which we'll be covering all the aspects topics concepts from class 8 to class 10th ncert in bite sized videos don't have to open the books now just click on this video and get going third step is to analyze the cat qa syllabus based on previous year trends for example arithmetic which will be composed of percentages ratios mixtures allegations averages time speed distance time in work and other topics algebra which will be consisting of search indices logarithms simple equations quadratic equations polynomials sequence series functions and graphs geometry which will be composed of lines and angles triangles polygons circles mensuration in terms of 2d as well as 3d and coordinate geometry Modern maths, which is also combinatorics, will be composed of fundamental principle of counting, permutations, combinations, and probability. Step four is walk through the previous year questions and try to attempt a few of them. One useful resource is given on the iQuanta website, where you can attempt those papers in terms of years, in terms of concepts, in terms of different sections as well. Step five is getting access to dual pedagogy. When I say dual, it means two. So one is mentor-driven live conceptual classes, and other is mentor-driven live application classes. In conceptual classes, we'll be covering any topic at one time, and it will be composed of different kind of tricks, tips, concepts, subconcepts, and relevant questions to cat. In the application classes, we'll reinforce all those ideas, concepts through different questions and videos. The next point is having a lot of practice. through three different ways one is free material which is spread across the iconda's website and also on google second is through quizzes and third is hard copy hard copy basically is a material in which all the books across all the sections are given but this will be for points specifically the seventh point is once you have aced it all the concepts the practice then you should start attempting in a timed environment which will be a simulation of real cat so we have 15 different sectional mocks for quant specifically As QA is the last section in terms of appearance in the real CAD, so test takers might get fatigued after solving VRC and then LRDI. So for this, you need to actually sit in the exam-like conditions in a timed environment, and for that, attempting full-length mocks is a must. Iquanta has 35 such full-length mocks. Last but not the least, always try to analyze the level of difficulty based on previous year trends. So these nine points will come in handy if you start preparing for CAD right now. and you can divide these nine points based on your performance and interest over the time period time duration through which you are preparing for cat so don't wait and get started by the way all the things that i have mentioned the resources i have provided the links in the description go check it out and i will see you soon